Taylor and I'm here for an interview. So we're going to see how this is how this goes this afternoon. I've been very fortunate to grow up in South Africa and I have to say thank you very much to my family because the holidays that I've always done are safari holidays. And um, since I was a, a young lass, I've been heading out to safaris, mainly in Kruger, so that if I started crying, it didn't bother anybody else because we were in my parents' car. I just annoyed them. And as I started to get older and behaved a little bit better, we then started to go through to private game reserves throughout South Africa. So I'm originally from the Eastern Cape, from Port Elizabeth, actually, which is about a nine-hour drive east of Cape Town. It's a little coastal city. And there's some really, really wonderful private game reserves out in that area. So I've been heading in those, and that sort of... Uh, push direction for for a while and I kind of expected to go into it while in high school my mom bought me a book that was called back to the bush and uh, I'm pretty sure if any of you know who Mr. James is he actually wrote that book and he was one of my inspirations to get into this industry he made it seem so fun and and amazing and so after school um, wanted to go to Australia to study equine dentistry to be a horse dentist growing up with horses my whole life and then I just remembered you know what that's actually not for me. I'm not a city girl. I like the bush. So I had an opportunity to go and study at one of these environmental training centers. Went and did that uh, and f fortunately did okay, got a job and then started from there. Started off in the Eastern Cape, like I said, at, at 19, very young. And um, I worked there for a few years in a, a really wonderful um, private game reserve. Uh, after that, I had an opportunity to move to Zambia where I did a short stint in management, but I decided that I didn't like the paperwork that came with management, and to me it was just an office job in the bush. And I thought, you know, management's just not for me. Let's, uh, let's head back to South Africa. And, and that's where I was fortunate enough to, uh, to get an opportunity down in the southwestern corner of the Sabi Sands, where I'm currently, where I've been based for the last year, and it's incredible. This, the Sands is probably the most amazing place. The, the wildlife is so diverse, the, um, and with that, with the plant species, the birds, it's, it's just amazing. It's like something I've never really experienced before. And, and the, the predator density, the leopards, the lions, the hyenas. One of my favorite bush experiences is probably watching an elephant cow give birth. Um, it, was, it was really an amazing moment. It was a little bit traumatic at the same time. Unfortunately, the elephant was, uh, was born stillborn, so it didn't make it. But the whole interaction with the herd and how they came around to try and help and try and get this little one to stand up before they realized that it unfortunately wasn't, wasn't alive um, was incredible. It brought tears to everybody's eyes on the vehicle.